I could choose in service of myself or I could choose what's easy, right? And so it's the same thing with our energy. You have multiple times to choose. So now we're going to break it down in three pieces, okay? So one, I want you to find what is that area of your life where having that high frequency energy field is natural to you. You are in your domain. You are in the zone, right? That nobody could tell you otherwise. And I want you to focus on what does that feel like? When did it start for you? What are all the different places it takes you? And what does it mean to have all eyes on you in a way that feels positive? Because often of us, so so many times I sat in, in, um, in some circles recently, and that was a lot of what people were sharing of this idea of I'm, I'm ready to be seen. I want to do what's next. And, and I very much feel the same way, right? Um, which is why all of these things are being mirrored to me. And it is that where often it feels uncomfortable to be seen. It feels unsafe, right? And that makes sense because that goes back to, you know, ancient ancestors. And it's like, if the whole town is looking at you, that's not really good. That's not good. That means you're on trial or, you know, they're about to have your head most of the time. So that's why we have this intrinsic, literal piece of us that's like, I don't want to stand out, even when the higher part of ourselves is, no, we do want to stand out, right? And so just knowing that that that, that inner battle, that we're not going to say battle, that that awareness exists, that duality exists within us and that we have the ability to override that, right? And the way that I sat down today and this morning is even though yesterday we were out of, um, you know, Mercury is officially not retrograde, but now we're in this post shadow. And so all of these issues of getting the internet started this morning and everything else it just took too long to get here. My hormones are annoyed. I don't want to be here is what I'm saying. And so I had to hit that override button. Well, yeah, all of that exists and it's not fun and we could live there or we could go, mm, today's probably not going to be great, but you know, I know what? I'm going to make it as good as I can, right? And I know that sounds so annoying if you're having a bad day. Like, I'm here for it. I get it, okay? But you still have the choice. And, right, like I always say, you choose your hard. So that same idea comes into this next level of our work. So one, I really want you to get comfortable and aware of where the spaces, places, people, things that you do where that energy is lit up for you without even having to think about it. Then the second part I want you to think about is what can you do for yourself perhaps multiple times a day that we can get you to the ability where almost you're like, snap your fingers and like, again, imagine that Phoenix, imagine those big feathers, those big wings. That's just what makes sense for me. But however you imagine your aura field of like wanting it to go out big of wanting it to attract people and knowing that being safe is okay. That being safe means that people see you and that they love you because they are going to give you back what you are giving them. And when you give them your full energy, when you give them your full heart, when you give them your full expression, they give that back to you, right? Now, even there are going to be people that like they're attracted to you and they don't know why, right? You're going to notice when you're doing this. Oh, that's the third part. Hold on. I'm not going to get to that part. So the second part, how can you multiple times a day get to that place where like you're, un you're unveiling your energy into that aura field, right? What would that look like? What would that feel like? Okay. So that we can get where, yes, it's work, but in the same way of like most of the time feeding yourself. I mean, I know those of us that get busy and we're the people where it's like, oh, I can't slow down to eat, but like, it's just a part of what we do. How can you get to where Three times a day, let's do morning, afternoon, and night, you are aware of cleaning your energy. Because here's the thing, when we talk about energy work, we often talk about, oh, after readings or when I'm with um, these folks from my family that I don't really vibe with or these places where we will release their energy and kind of like call ours back in. But that still feels very insular. That still feels very um, kind of like, I think we have the uh, 12... Uh, aura fields, right? So it's like one, two, three, that goes all the way out. That's a lot, right? So typically when we're talking about that sort of energy work, you're talking about maybe one to five, one to five. And I'm talking, that's a different aspect of what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is like, I'm going, we're going whole ham, okay? Whole hog here, one to 12, all the way out. 
And I want us to get into that practice. And I always, I always love it because I feel like it's an accordion, right? There's not everywhere I go that I want people to notice me, <laughs> right? Okay. I'm not a complete narcissist comedian. Everybody look at me, but meaning like there's going to be times or spaces where like, you're really going to want to protect that energy. So you may be pulling that accordion in. But there may be other places, again, as we're beginning to mess with this, and this is going into number three, where there's so many places to test this energy out. You're going into Target, pretty safe place, lots of, lots of folks there. Let's try that of like going all the way out to 12, maintaining in that frequency and that energy. What does that feel like? And can you move through a Target and not walking through literally peacocking of like, do you see me? Do you see me? But as an energetic frequency, the way that you're showing up, uh, maybe you're at the, um, the checkout that's supposed to be faster, but it never is. Cause it doesn't ring up self checkout. There we go. Um, and then somebody has to come over and help you. And you know, what would that like, oof, heart center feel like? Right. Can you notice like, oh, more people are looking at me, more people are talking to me when I smile at someone, they smile back right away. There are very safe places like this where you can begin to test that out for yourself. 